We're going to go ahead and go through the first problem here. It says in a certain plant, long stems are dominant to short stems. A farmer crosses a male short-stemmed flower with a female heterozygous long-stemmed flower. Complete each of the seven steps. So our first step here, figure out what the dominant trait is and the recessive trait. It tells us up here in the first sentence, it says long stems are dominant to short stems. So I'm going to go ahead and write long stems for dominant, short stems for recessive. Now we need to choose a letter to represent long stem and a letter to represent short stem. A lot of times we pick the dominant trait, the letter that goes with the dominant trait. So I'm going to pick capital L. And remember, we always use the same letter. We just use capital and lowercase. So in this case, we would use lowercase l. Now we have to figure out the genotypes, the letters of the parents. So it says a male short-stemmed flower. So a short-stemmed flower. So remember, short stem is recessive. So if it's recessive, it's got to have two little L's in order to show that recessive trait. Female heterozygous. Heterozygous means two different letters. So it's going to have a capital and a lowercase. So I'm going to write that there. Now remember, each of the dad's genes okay, will get split up into separate sperm. So we're going to have a little L in one of the sperm, a little L in the other. And then moms are going to get split up into eggs. Okay, So big L in one of the eggs, little L in the other. Now we take mom and dad's genes. And remember, we put them on the sides and the top. Okay. So dads have to go on one side together. So I'm going to put them on the top. It doesn't matter if you put dads on the top or if you put his on the side. And then I'm going to put moms on the side. Big L and little L. Now we just fill in our Punnett square. So here I'm going to have a big L, little L. Over here, big L, oops, big L, little L. Here I'm going to have two little L's. And here I'm going to have two little L's. So then what is the chance of an offspring having a long stem? Remember to have a long stem they have to have at least one capital letter. So both of these guys are going to have long stems, so two out of four. Two out of four is the same as half, which is 50%. What about a short stem? In order to have short stem, right, it's recessive, it's got to have two lowercase. Okay, so we're going to have 2 out of 4, or 50%. How many genotypes exist? Genotype means the letters, right? How many letters exist? How many different letter combinations? So notice I've got one, big L, little l, two. I've got two different letter combinations. What are they? Well, I could have an offspring that's big L, little l, and one that's little l, little l. And then how many phenotypes? Phenotypes are physical appearances. So what are my offspring going to look like? Well, two of them are going to have long stems. Two are going to have short stems. So that's two different options there, long stem or short stem. And I'm going to write that down here, long stem, short stem. 